this is a painting which is expressing love, and that is the love of Usha and Anirudh. Anirudh is the grandson of Lord Krishna. Usha sees him in a dream and falls passionately in love with him. She's completely overcome. She can't eat, she can't sleep, she can't think of anything else, and she's distraught because she doesn't know where he is and she doesn't know how to access him. So her friend, Chitralekha, sees her in this terrible state and she uses her mystical powers to summon Anirudh. And Anirudh comes and he also falls in love with Usha. And the kind of passion that you see in her face, more than in his, the devotion with which she is looking at him. And Durandar captures it very beautifully. Durandar is probably one of the most accomplished painters of the Bombay School of Art. He uh, had a great felicity with rendering form. He was completely taken with Ravi Varma. He was a good friend of Ravi Varma. Ravi Varma had a great regard for Durandar. And at one point, Durandar even worked at the Ravi Varma Press. Durandar's style is a very particular style. There is a kind of gracefulness in everything that he is producing. There's much fluidity to Durandar's artworks. The form, the figure, the ease with which he's able to capture that. And he was also very good at capturing nuance and adept at capturing a kind of a mood or developing a story. Now, if you look closely at the painting, we know that it's also a Chota Udaipur painting. Chota Udaipur is a principality in Gujarat. It's a typical kind of Gujarati furniture that you have. The bed is that lacquered woodwork that is famous in Gujarat. In fact, Durandar was famous for noting the details of women's dress and being able to render that very beautifully. He was influenced by Griffiths, who was his teacher, and you see a kind of elliptical influence that makes his work quite special. There isn't another artist from the Bombay School who has captured the particular ethos and character of Bombay Presidency. And Durandar did it, and he did it really well.